Hey everybody, you're watching Hyper Tiger XT. My name is Tiger, and in case you're wondering, the XT stands for. I failed myself, friends, and it's horrible. I am weak. So weak. I told myself that I was going to be strong this time. I had every confidence that I was going to be able to hold out until the end and not succumb to the temptation, but the siren's call, its song, was just far too alluring, and now I have resubscribed to World of Warcraft. But in my defense, they did announce a new expansion pack a couple of weeks ago, and I have held out for quite a long time, like maybe two weeks I held out, which is quite good. In the end though, they promised me one of the things that I absolutely want the most in the game and it just got too much for me. It wasn't the number one thing that I want in the game though. That would be bards as a playable class because how flipping amazing would it be to be able to be a bard in WoW because bards are absolutely kick-ass, but this is like the number two thing for me perhaps, like a penultimate desire, which is the fact that I now, in a couple of months, get to be a demon hunter, which is amazing. Well, not me, but like an avatar of me and you get what I mean, I'm pretty sure. So now I'm back on the strange sparkly flying horse and I have done virtually nothing Thing since I started playing again. In fact, in order to make sure that I don't spend every waking moment of my evenings poking at imaginary demons with daggers whilst stealthed, I've come up with a set of quite strict rules that on Monday and onwards I am going to be enforcing with such rigidity that it would make the super nanny weep tears of pride. What they are is, Mondays through Fridays I'm only going to spend two hours maximum every night playing the game, except for on Tuesdays when I'm not actually going to play it at all because I do other things on Tuesdays that I'm not actually telling you about just yet, but maybe I'll tell you about them in the future, and on the nights that I do play, I can do absolutely anything that I want except no hardcore raiding, no new raids of normal difficulty or above. No matter how much my girl begs me, I'm not going to do it, not that they would beg me that much because I'm not actually that good. And the second the game stops being fun, I am going to stop playing again. Until something else happens and I start playing again because apparently that is what happens with World of Warcraft and I don't know why. I think it's become my new like food thing now that I'm kind of hardcore dieting. Do you guys have something that you just can't give up no matter how much you try? What's your kryptonite? What is your ultra vice? Please tell me in the comment section below. I wanted to take this job in a museum. It was going to be so cool because they had one of those earthquake simulators and I absolutely love things like that. But unfortunately, I didn't quite qualify because my knowledge of seismology is shaky at best. Now that I'm back playing WoW again, I almost feel as though I don't have to keep going on telling you about all of these really weird and mostly delicious snacks that I'm eating. Almost, but not quite. So too bad. I mean, how could I go on without letting you know what all of the latest sweets and desserts and neato things from Japan taste like? What kind of monster would that make me? And that is why this week I am eating this. Okay, this looks like an ice cream, but it's not actually an ice cream. The top is strawberry chocolate and the outside is like an ice cream cone, but the inside is just milk chocolate and it looks really tasty and it smells freaking amazing. So let's eat it now. Oh boy, that was delicious. I almost feel as though I need a little bit of alone time with that candy. It was so tasty. Like, I don't know if you saw my face while I was eating that, but it was absolutely amazing. It blows everything else that I've ever eaten on this show out of the water. Seriously, if you're looking for just like a little treat to buy yourself in the afternoon, maybe a pick-me-up, and you live in a place that sells those, buy them, buy them, buy them, buy them, buy them. Oh my god, oh my god, they're so tasty. They're so amazing. And I've probably had way too much sugar because I don't normally eat the full snack when I'm doing this, but I ate the full snack today, and so that should probably tell you something. So I've decided to turn this segment from a second pun into just some kind of cool fact or a story or me just telling you to do something or something like that, because I'm pretty sure that I'm only really capable of one pun every week, and even then a certain YouTube meat bun thinks I'm not actually capable of that. So this is me telling you that Jupiter is shrinking by two centimeters every single year. It's not getting any less massive or any less dense, mind you. It's just getting physically smaller. I'm not saying that you should necessarily panic because of this, but I'm also not saying that you shouldn't not panic, so do with that what you will. Alright everybody, we've reached the end of another video, which means that it is time for me to tell you that the top comment from the past week came from Katie Lucina, also known as Vixie, and she commented on my video about everyday superpowers, and she 
said that her superpower is just being herself, which, to be fair, is like the coolest and best superpower there probably is, the ability to be yourself. She also told me that I should never eat a mixture of custard, garlic, and strawberries, which I'm inclined to agree with. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and give it a thumbs up or a like, because that basically tells YouTube that I am awesome and it will show me to people who don't actually know me yet, which is amazing, and also please share this with your friends and social media circles, and I will see you next week for more. Bye!